Um, so when Pastor Bird asked me to give my testimony, I was thinking, like, I didn't want to introduce my testimony the way that I kind of always do, because I was thinking a lot about, like, yeah, um, I guess what, you know, the, like, the dark time was before I came to the Lord, and I've just been thinking a lot about that recently, that I, I never want to kind of um, hold that, um, uh, like, I don't want to be upset about that, because it was, like, um, it, it was so unpleasant, and by the time I heard the gospel, like, just the day before, I had really kind of called out to the Lord in my heart that I just didn't want to go on like that another day. And, um, and, but then I started remembering some just pretty amazing things that the Lord has um, kind of shown me through that. Um, uh, like, I was talking to um, Sister Charlie a few weeks ago, and, and I told her about how when I was little and when um, all, like, whenever I would try to go to churches with friends, something, some disaster would always happen. Um, like, uh, two times I had to be removed from the church services because um, my nose was just started bleeding spontaneously. Um, and another two times I had to leave, like one was like a um, Catholic church service and the, I don't remember what the other one was because I was throwing up. <laughs> and, um, and then there was another time my friends were planning on going to um, a Catholic church service and I was planning on going with them and I just got violently ill that morning. And like, just the, the Lord kind of protected me um, all through those years and, and I didn't even know it. And like all of those things that happened that, that um, were not fun, it, it um, I don't know, there's, there's something good to be had, I guess. Um, like now I also know in my walk with the Lord that that um like i tried everything before like like i tried to more than anything to get my own righteousness through any means necessary um i you know would just go to the extremes of what humans like can do um to like do the right thing and now i know that i should actively turn away from those things and so i can praise the lord that like i that, that I can see now how easy he's wanted our lives to be. Um, and so I, three years ago, I got um, witnessed to, and I got baptized, and I received the Holy Spirit, and I spoke in tongues, and my life has changed so much from that day. And I know that there's nothing else that could have changed me because I tried all of the things to try to change me. And, um, yeah, um, so... I'm just grateful that um, that the Lord is um, kind of well that He's given me the heart of Christ that um, that I you know the things that I think and I feel then I see the Lord do something with those things and and answer my prayers. Um, I'm like. Um, just trying to think of, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, I'm grateful that I get to you now, you know, help with the music. I, I was never a musical person. I actually was terrible, and um, and I prayed about it, and now I can play the guitar. And it just kind of happened, and um, and I'm learning the piano, and I'm really grateful for that too. And that just happened by prayer, kind of overnight. Um, I'm grateful that the the Lord, you know, gives me the direction to go in, and um, uh, like um, a couple weeks ago, or I guess it's been a month now, when I was just moving into my place, um, everything was like just just going wrong. Everything that I could think of that could go wrong was going wrong. Um, so, quick pretext to this was when my car was getting towed um, on my way to Fresno. I had made it like within 100 miles of Fresno and then 
it broke down. And so anyways, um, while I was waiting at the truck stop, I, um, I found this letter in my glove box that I had meant to send to one of the saints in New Zealand, and it just had a scripture in it and a little drawing. And so I sent that, and, um, and uh, you know, and I was like, Lord, this is, why am I stuck at a truck stop at 11 at night and the car won't start and, you know, nothing's, nothing's working, prayer's not working. And um, prayer was working, just not the way I thought. And um, so then it got towed. Uh, after the Sunday meeting, car turned on like nothing went to, had ever been wrong with it. I haven't had a single problem with it since. But um, then when I was moving into my apartment, again, everything was going wrong. Nothing was really, um, uh, like the electricity wasn't working, the heat wasn't working, and I had almost no money left. And um, so I got down on my knees and I was really calling out to the Lord. Sorry. And, um, and I didn't even know what I was praying for. And um, so I was really praying and then all of a sudden my phone buzzed at me and, um, and it was the saint that I had sent the scripture to. And he said, I was, I was just writing my talk for the meeting tonight and, um, and um, I was trying to figure out how to fit all of my ideas together for the talk and then all of a sudden my mom walks up to me and hands me your letter. And the scripture in it was one that I had never read before and it was the exact one that I needed to finish my talk. And, and I just thought, wow, Lord, that was worth everything. Like, that was worth, that was worth the $400 for towing my car. <laughs> and um, just, like, seeing um, the Lord know my heart and seeing him know me in every way, that's worth more to me than all of the physical trouble or financial trouble. Like, I don't care about those things. But to, to know that I have a place with God and to know that um, he's watching over my life means everything. So, praise the Lord.